I'm sure everyone by now has noticed the big yellow sign behind you with the letters Covey on it. What significance does that have? Well, it goes back a long way. Uh, I guess it's the 11th year that I've been here in Port Credit. And the first year that I came here uh, as head of the uh, music department, uh, unfortunately, there was no head. So we have two music rooms, one a vocal room, of course, the other one the instrumental room. And uh, apparently there was not too much camaraderie going on. There was constant, uh, I guess, struggle for, um, for supremacy. The instrumentalists uh, thought they were a little bit better than the vocalists and so on. Well, my first job, major job, I guess, was to try to unite the two and have the kids thinking music rather than vocal or instrumental. Uh, thus, we called on our uh, council, the music council, to come up with a logo. And uh, we opened it up to the whole school <coughs> to uh, come up with some sort of logo. My instructions to the uh, uh, people, to the uh, music council at that time, was uh, to have the name of the school and the uh, words vocal and instrumental somewhere in that logo. And uh, we had about 20 entries. We offered $100 to the best entry, of course. And uh, this was the one that won. And COVIA actually stands for Credit Organization of Vocal and Instrumental Arts. Uh, this, of course, pleased everyone, and, and it fitted what, uh, what we wanted actually to, to, to do. Well, it took about four or five years before we had the band people, the instrumental people, the vocal people thinking music only. Um, simply, the way it happened was I chose some repertoire that included band and choir together. Now, of course, the kids are just covia. They're proud to be either in a vocal or instrumental, and indeed, we have a great number of kids who are taking both instrumental and vocal, or string, and of course, next year, we've added guitar to, 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 to our uh, curriculum as well.